Hello everyone and welcome to another review video. This time we're going to be reviewing a movie called Infinity and it was directed by Shane Addis and it stars Daniel McPherson, Grace Huang and Luke Hensworth. What makes this movie different is that unlike most movies where the ship travels from one star system to the other via hyperspace, warp drive, and stuff like that. This one uses something called slipstream, which is kind of like the Star Trek transporter technology, but instead of beaming down from the planet to the ship and back and forth, it goes from planet to planet or star system to star system. Anyway, let's get right into it. Well, the movie begins. A group of people are being questioned aggressively and it's obvious that they're in some kind of quarantine. Then it cuts to Whit Carmichael who seems to be getting ready to go somewhere and he's flashing back to the time he had with his wife just before. It is Whit's first day on the job and he is part of the Slipstream Search and Rescue backup team. Now, while he's there, they are watching the Team 1 slip through and go off. And 30 seconds later, they return. Some of the members of Team 1 return, and they return enraged. And they begin shooting up the place. That puts West Coast headquarters into lockdown and they begin a lethal purge with an attempt to kill all of the members in the headquarters to contain whatever contagion or contamination came through a team one. Meanwhile, Wit and two members of his team that were still with him, they was watching all this and one of the members have a black box that will allow illegal teleportation. And so he uses it on Wit and himself. The third member, he could not access his device. So he got left behind. So Wit and this one guy went off to wherever it was that team one went. Over to the East Coast, another search and rescue team is being prepped. This one is supposed to be the best. They are told in their briefing that a mining colony on a world that is way out in the galaxy has been destroyed and all of the miners, all 1600, were killed. This was a few days ago. Then a team was sent in to assess the damage that was done and that entire team was killed except for one and when they tried to pull that one guy back he disabled his apex device now the apex device is what allows them to travel mm -hmm. through space it allows them to go into the slipstream and it is fused into your nervous system. Now this team is told that because of the location of this world in the vicinity of several black holes there is serious time dilation and th that means that they will be gone for 1 minute and 24 seconds earth time but it will be 24 hours on that world to them. The East Coast team has two primary missions Primary mission number one is to find the payload that got to Earth and bring it back to that mining colony. If it is exposed to Earth's atmosphere, it will be catastrophic for Earth. And primary mission number two is to find Whit Carmichael because they know he made an illegal jump into that mining colony to escape the West Coast lockdown and lethal decontamination. When they get to the mining colony, 
It is minus 70 below. They split into teams. One team has a power section to get the power turned on. The next team heads it out to look for Whit Carmichael and the third team heads to the control room. Eventually, they get the power turned on and someone contacts them on the computers. As the teams are exploring the facility, they come across bodies that are frozen, that had extreme violence committed upon them. And wit finally comes out of hiding. Once they have wit with them, wit begins telling them what he noticed, what he saw. And apparently, not all of the miners were killed as was believed. The miners had all gone insane and were killing each other. Uh, when the team came through, they began attacking them. And apparently, Wit, when he saw what was happening, he went and hid. And there is uh, some sort of infection that is spread by blood or skin to skin contact. He wasn't sure which. Once they realized that Wit had hacked into the computers and he was able to control the entire mining colony they asked with to help them stop the payload from heading to earth so he did and they promised to get him back to earth just as with finished taking the payload offline the members of the team was attacked the man that attacked them was a member of the original team that got in there to survey the mining colony after all of the miners were supposedly killed. And he had damaged an APX device so they were unable to track him and they didn't know he was still alive. Well, he attacked them, killing the captain and in killing him they blew his head off and blood got splattered everywhere on everyone and so they all got infected now most of them the infection affected them within seconds and they began screaming and attacking each other wit also got infected but his infection is was a lot slower so he ran off to hide so which is now on the run and he's hiding from members of the team who when they come across anyone they attack violently. Wit makes his way to the med lab where he finds an explanation for the infection. Apparently on that planet frozen is a primordial ooze that when torn out can affect and infect any biological entity and it only takes a few seconds in most cases but in a few cases it will take as long as two hours to fully take control of that biological entity and it is completely violent and predatory and it seems to search out the most alpha of all the creatures it infects. While other members of the team meet each other, they kill each other or kill themselves. Meanwhile, Wit's mental state is slowly deteriorating. He's beginning to see hallucinations. So finally, there's only two left, Wit and Chester, and they have an epic fight. And Wit ends up winning, killing Chester. So Wit goes and begins broadcasting to the ooze, telling it that it chose the worst of human beings. And if it had only cooperated, things would have gone better. But whatever it's trying to do, 
it failed. Then he killed himself. With everyone dead, you see the ooze enveloping each of the dead bodies. Some five hours later, you see all of the members of the team, including Whit, they're alive and well. Their wounds have all healed. Now their clothes are torn from the violence, but they're okay. Wit seems to remember more than the rest of them, but they decide they're gonna keep quiet. Seconds before they are slipstreamed back out to Earth, Wit looks out the window and he sees humanoid figures made from ooze that are looking at them and one of them is holding the picture of Wit's wife in his hands. Once they get to Earth, you see the same scene that began the movie. They are in quarantine and being questioned and you realize that the whole thing was a flashback, Wit's flashback. They are cleared from quarantine and they are sent home and the final scene in the movie is with hugging his wife and his wife telling him that they told her he wasn't coming back and that's how it ends now this was an original movie the aliens were unique and how it ended was also pretty interesting i mean did the ooze just heal them give them back their life and allow them to leave or did it rebuild them totally and then allow them to leave or is it part of them that they don't even know that they're bringing back to earth so in that case there could there might be a sequel anyway i hope you enjoyed this and I hope you take a time to watch it and let me know what you think. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and listening.